One of the ways to save money on commuting is to plan your commute to avoid peak hours and save on transportation costs. Peak hours are the times when most people are on the road or using public transit, usually before and after work or school. During peak hours, traffic congestion is worse, public transit fares are higher, and parking fees are more expensive. By avoiding peak hours, you can reduce your travel time, save money, and reduce stress. Here are some tips on how to plan your commute to avoid peak hours. Ask your employer if you can work flexible hours or work from home part of the time. This way, you can adjust your schedule to avoid the busiest times on the road or transit. For example, you can work from 7A to 3P instead of 9A to 5P or work 4 10-hour days instead of 5 8-hour days. Use public transportation instead of driving, especially if you live in an area with good transit service and low fares. Public transportation can be cheaper, faster, and more reliable than driving during peak hours. You can also use transit apps or websites to plan your trip and find the best routes and times. If you have to drive, try to carpool or use ride-sharing services with other commuters who have similar destinations. This way, you can split the cost of gas, tolls, and parking, and use carpool lanes or express lanes to avoid traffic. You can also use navigation apps or websites to find the best routes and times to drive. If possible, walk or bike to work or school, or combine walking or biking with public transportation. Walking or biking can be cheaper, healthier, and more enjoyable than driving or taking transit. You can also avoid traffic and parking hassles, and reduce your environmental impact. Change your cycle of non-work activities to avoid peak hours. For example, if you usually go grocery shopping or run errands after work, try doing them before work or on weekends instead. This way, you can avoid adding to the peak hour traffic and save time and money. By planning your commute to avoid peak hours, you can save money on commuting and lunches when you go back to the office. You can also enjoy a more comfortable and convenient travel experience, and improve your quality of life. One of the best ways to save money on lunches and you go back to the office is to prepare your own lunches at home and bring them to the office. This way, you can control what you eat, how much you spend, and how many calories you consume. Plus, you can enjoy a variety of delicious and nutritious dishes that will keep you satisfied and energized throughout the day. Here are some tips and recipes on how to prepare your own lunches at home and bring them to the office. Utilize some prepared foods. Planning your lunch ahead doesn't have to take up all of your time. A store-bought rotisserie chicken for topping salads or filling wraps, a container of healthy hummus for dipping veggie sticks, a pre-washed box of mixed lettuces for making salad, these are all great ways to cut down on prep and cook time when putting together a work lunch. Plan ahead, cook big batches. Whatever you're cooking on the weekend, make a double batch and freeze portions for future lunches. You can also use a slow cooker, an instant pot, or a sheet pan to make easy and tasty meals that can be divided into containers and reheated at work. For example, you can make a big batch of chili, soup, stew, curry, or casserole and enjoy it throughout the week. Pack foods that reheat well. Some foods are better suited for reheating than others. Avoid foods that get soggy, dry out, or lose their texture when microwaved. Instead, opt for foods that retain their moisture and flavor when reheated. Some examples are pasta dishes with creamy sauces, rice dishes with vegetables and protein, meatloaf with mashed potatoes, or lasagna with cheese. Pack foods that can be eaten cold. If you don't have access to a microwave or prefer to avoid it, you can still pack a satisfying lunch that can be eaten cold. Some examples are sandwiches with whole wheat bread and lean meats, salads with hearty greens and dressing on the side, wraps with tortillas and fillings of your choice, or sushi rolls with rice and fish. Say no to sogginess. Nothing ruins a lunch more than soggy bread, wilted lettuce, or mushy noodles. To prevent this from happening, 
pack your ingredients separately and assemble them right before eating. For example, you can pack your sandwich bread in one container, your meat and cheese in another, and your lettuce and tomato in another. Then, you can toast your bread in a toaster oven if available, or eat it as is, and add your toppings. Pack Filling Dishes To avoid getting hungry or tempted by vending machines or takeout options, pack a lunch that will keep you full until dinner time. Choose dishes that have a balance of complex carbohydrates, lean protein, healthy fats, and fiber. For example, you can pack a quinoa salad with chicken and avocado, a turkey burger with sweet potato fries, a Greek yogurt parfait with granola and berries, or a peanut butter and banana pita. Leftovers are your friend. One of the easiest ways to pack a lunch is to use leftovers from the night before. You can either reheat them as they are or repurpose them into something new. For example, you can turn leftover roasted chicken into a chicken salad sandwich, leftover grilled steak into a steak and cheese wrap, leftover roasted vegetables into a vegetable frittata, or leftover pizza into a pizza salad. These are some of the tips and recipes on how to prepare your own lunches at home and bring them to the office. By doing this, you can save money on commuting and lunches when you go back to the office. You can also enjoy a variety of delicious and nutritious dishes that will keep you satisfied and energized throughout the day.